I'm delighted to be joined by a familiar face in the kidney community, Maddie Warren, who's inspired so many people living with kidney disease. Uh, Maddie, you have an autoimmune condition which attacks the kidneys. You had a failed transplant at 19. You've been dialyzing at home for the last nearly 25 years. How has that been for you? What impact does that have on your life? Well, I think like many people, I had never even heard of kidney disease or didn't really know what your kidneys do and how important they are until mine failed as a, a young teenager. And it is completely life changing, devastating. Um, it is a very serious illness. You know, people, people die when their kidneys fail unless they have dialysis or a transplant. So my entire life was turned upside down and has never been the same again. Although because I was a teenager, I guess I don't know how my life was going to turn out, but I have had to become really adapted to living reliant on a life support machine. But I'm, you know, I've, I've got used to it in a sense. And for me, it's, it's almost my normality now, but it has had a huge impact every single day on everything that I do. You certainly don't let your kidney disease hold you back. In fact, you're more active than most of us, I'm ashamed <laughs> to say. Tell us about some of your more mad pursuits. <laughs> I always say that I am having a very optimal experience of being on dialysis and for many people they don't feel as well as I do and I do put that down to home dialysis and it has taught me to grab life every single day push myself try new experiences seek out adrenaline um, and so I ran the London Marathon I was the first woman on dialysis to complete the London Marathon which I did in 2018 for my 20th year on dialysis which was tough but a phenomenal um, euphoria when you get across the finish line. And I took up skydiving, so I've got nearly 500 skydives and I'm part of a formation skydiving team. And more recently, I've taken up musical theatre and, and local theatre because being on stage is quite a rush as well. And the best thing is dialysing at home gives me the flexibility to fit all of this in as well as working full time. So really just filling up my life as much as I possibly can. You're making the rest of us feel fairly inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> How important is it to have the support of organisations like the National Kidney Federation? So I do always say to people, I am not having the typical dialysis experience. For many people, dialysis is completely debilitating. Um, they really, it's very difficult, takes over their life. They may be feeling quite unwell. And that is partly because I dialyse at home. I'm getting more hours a week, so I do feel a lot better and my health is generally better. So the NKF provide essential support um, in terms of kind of mental support and a backup for patients but also critically kidney disease is a complex multifaceted condition and so patients need to learn about their condition and what's dialysis what's a transplant pros and cons weighing things up and NKF provide a lot of education and resources so people can go there and find out what is this condition that I've just you know been diagnosed with. What advice would you give to others who are facing the prospect of a lifetime on dialysis? I say to everybody, if there is absolutely any chance at all that you can get yourself onto home dialysis, do it. And if your hospital aren't offering it to you, go there and tell them you want to do it. And don't let sort of practical logistics perhaps get in the way. You know, you can be very creative with getting machines into houses. Newer machines are smaller these days and simpler because home gives you the freedom, the control, the flexibility, and critically, you can fit in more hours of dialysis than the 12 hours a week you would normally have in hospital. And that gives you as much of your life back as possible. And then the other thing is you have to be open-minded. You have to be willing to essentially allow that this condition will be unpredictable and it will attempt to dominate your life, but don't let it. Put your life first, whatever it takes, because you only get one go at this. So yeah, it's, it's tough, but it's doable. Put your life first. Maddie, you are an inspiration. Thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with the next adventure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.